You hear it before you see it. A low rumble building to a roar. The ground vibrates beneath your feet. The air, thick with anticipation, carries a fine mist. This is Victoria Falls, a force of nature that slams into your senses, leaving you breathless and humbled. My first glimpse? Forget subtle. Imagine a curtain of water wider than you can comprehend, plummeting into a chasm with a fury that shakes the earth. The spray, a shimmering rainbow halo visible for miles. This ain't some gentle cascade. This, my friends, is raw, untamed power. The locals call it Mosi o Atunya, the smoke that thunders. And trust me, they ain't exaggerating. This is nature at its most awe-inspiring, a spectacle that stays with you long after you've left. For centuries, the falls were a legend whispered among the local tribes. A place of power, a place of spirits, a place most dared not approach. Then came David Livingstone, a Scottish missionary with an explorer's heart. In 1855, he stumbled upon this natural wonder, becoming the first European to lay eyes on it. Livingstone, in a fit of colonial arrogance, named it after his queen. But the indigenous name, Mosi o Atunya, that's the one that resonates. It captures the essence of the place, the primal force that has captivated people for millennia. Today, the falls straddle the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can feel the history here, the weight of generations who lived in the shadow of this natural wonder. It's a reminder that some things, thankfully, remain beyond our control. Let's talk stats. We're talking over a mile wide, a drop of over 350 feet. That's twice the height of Niagara Falls. During peak season, the Zambezi River throws itself over the edge with such force, it creates a mist visible for over 20 miles. But numbers don't do it justice. You've got to see it to believe it. The sheer volume of water is mesmerizing, the roar deafening, the spray, a constant reminder of the power unleashed. Rainbows dance in the mist, a fleeting ethereal beauty against the raw might of the falls. Walk the trails, each viewpoint revealing a new perspective. Stand on the knife edge bridge, heart pounding as you're enveloped in mist. Or take a sunset cruise on the Zambezi, the sky ablaze with color as the falls roar behind you. It's a sensory overload in the best way possible. Section four, finding your way to the falls. Getting there and getting around. Getting to Victoria Falls ain't exactly a walk in the park. But trust me, the journey is worth it. The nearest major airport is Victoria Falls Airport, serving both Zimbabwe and Zambia. International flights connect through hubs like Johannesburg or Addis Ababa. Once you're on the ground, getting around is pretty straightforward. Taxis are readily available, but for a more immersive experience, try walking or cycling. The towns on both sides of the falls are relatively small, easy to navigate on foot. Now, a word of advice. Don't just stick to your resort. Explore the surrounding area. Take a day trip to Chobe National Park in Botswana, known for its elephant herds. Or head to Hwanga National Park in Zimbabwe for some of the best wildlife viewing in Africa. Section 5, when the Zambezi rages navigating high and low water seasons. Victoria Falls is a year-round destination, but the experience changes dramatically depending on the season. The Zambezi River has two distinct personalities, the raging torrent of the high water season and the more subdued flow of the low water season. High water season from February to May is a spectacle of raw power. The falls are at their most impressive a thundering curtain of water. But be prepared for the spray. It'll soak you to the bone. Low water season from August to January offers a different perspective. The water level drops, revealing the intricate rock formations of the falls. So when's the best time to go? That depends on your priorities. For sheer awe-inspiring power, high water season is tough to beat. But for photography and activities like bungee jumping and whitewater rafting, low water season is ideal. Section 6. More than just a view. Activities and adventures await. Look, you could spend your entire trip just staring at the falls and it wouldn't be a waste. But for the adrenaline junkies and adventure seekers, Victoria Falls offers a playground of heart-stopping activities. 
First up, bungee jumping. Leap from the Victoria Falls Bridge, a 364-foot drop into the abyss. Feel the rush as you plummet towards the raging Zambezi, the spray of the falls a refreshing slap in the face. Then there's white water rafting. Navigate the rapids of the Zambezi, battling class 5 waves that'll test your courage and leave you breathless. For a more serene experience, take a sunset cruise on the river, sipping cocktails as elephants and crocodiles roam the banks. And for the ultimate bird's eye view, hop on a helicopter tour and soar above the falls, the roar of the water a distant hum against the whirring blades. Section 7. Beyond the Spray Wildlife Encounters and Natural Wonders Don't let the falls overshadow the rest of the experience. The surrounding area is teeming with wildlife, offering a chance to get up close and personal with Africa's iconic animals. Take a game drive through Chobe National Park, known for its large elephant herds. Watch as these gentle giants lumber past, their sheer size both humbling and awe-inspiring. Or head to Huanga National Park, a vast wilderness home to lions, leopards, giraffes, and a plethora of bird life. For a more immersive experience, Try a walking safari. Accompanied by an experienced guide, track wildlife on foot, learning about the delicate ecosystem and the challenges facing these animals. And don't miss the opportunity to visit a local village where you can interact with the indigenous people, learn about their culture, and witness their traditional way of life.